Roy T. We are pretty much ready for some testing of my gear depth thing. First fire up. The um, This gear in the back here is fixed onto the horizontal spindle. This one is floating for the moment. Got a little bit of play and it could probably do with some adjustment. Maybe a, maybe a tenth or so, but this is going to run. There's no groove in the spindle at the moment. No uh, noble draft key in the spindle for the moment. Just going to run it, see what the depth thing's like. Now obviously, it's going to fling oil everywhere. I'm not too worried about that. The back gear pair appears to be running quite nicely like that. We could probably do a little bit less clearance. There's more oil on there. And eventually, once this is running, there will be an oil feed from the bottom and a pump but this is just going to leak for the moment uh, so we'll let the oil run through the bearings be pumped back up to the top um, that's kind of on my on my list of shit to do but uh, there's other stuff to do before there for the moment I'm quite happy to run it as total loss there we go, some sun dripping out now in fact um, that's, uh, Zoom out slightly. So what we do need to do, um, I have a second uh, second cast iron ring here, which needs a bit of welding up. That's going to go in here. Uh, we're going to tap so that we can adjust uh, so that we can adjust the angle of the head. At the moment, it's just chucked in place. It's not even vertical. I can see that now. Um, but. Uh, that's actually not making too much noise. I'm quite happy about that. And this will sit basically in an oil bath once uh, once everything's once, once everything's done. The spindle does turn. Almost, almost enough stiction for it to for it to run. happy with that. We're getting close to milling ability. Until later kids, I'm going to go and go down some holes. 